Okay, so this is just a quick video for Squid Reese and a few other people that have DM me saying what exactly my workflow is with that color palette stuff. So um, what I do in Space Bandit is I have a plugin so that when I click on a sprite, I get an edit button. And then you can see up here, I get a color palette and I can start painting in colors now. And then you see on the right here, it's updating. I'm actually just drawing reds, right? And you can see it's just drawing red in, in, the, in the update here. But then I have... Um, as part of my plugin, I'm just doing that color map trick. So I'm pulling a sprite over this uh, as part of the plugin and showing you the color maps. And then for Space Bandit, I kind of use that blue channel to do um, do shading, that kind of nice Pokemon shading, you know, Pokemon where we kind of have this stuff like, you know, so now I can draw a little box um, and you can see that if I change the color, you know, it keeps the, keeps the shading. Um, yeah, and then also here I have depth. So if I click on whatever here, you can see I can paint depth into it. So again, I'm, I'm dividing the, the blue channel in two using bitmasks. So one half is for the slope, the other half, half is for depth. Um, so let me just get rid of that. Um, and then I'll show what the depth looks like in game. If I load up the game. Um, let's kill everybody. You can see that I'm casting shadows, look. So my guy is casting a shadow and this guy here, Squall is casting a shadow and that's using that depth map um, that I showed here. So you can see uh, we have depth from zero to 15 you know, and that's going to cast different kinds of shadows um, using the big color shader. And uh, it's a really cool way to do it because it means I don't have to draw shadows for every sprite. And also something you, you couldn't do if you're doing this manually is blend all the sprite, the shadows together. Because you see how uh -huh, this, the shadow of this guy and the wall um, blend nicely together. If it was just sprites, then it would get like twice as dark, which isn't how shadows work if you've ever being on planet earth um yeah so that is my workflow for this game um i hope that clears things up i didn't want to show that in the tutorial because people would have just ignored the tutorial me like how did you make an editor plugin so yeah thanks for watching